Hi, in today's video, I'm going to address how to create your first Swift UI animation. So let's get started. If you are new to animation, you can define animation as the rate of change over time. If you have to animate something, your job is to change it over time. For example, if you have to animate an object, you can change its scale or you can just move it from one point to another. To demonstrate this visual, let's use one of my favorite animation tools, Kite. Kite runs on the same core animation framework as Swift UI, so we are going to transfer all the animation properties we will create in Kite to Swift UI. So let's get started. I have Kite open. I'll go to the library and drag a test view to the canvas. I'll go to the inspector change the size from 32 to 16. From here I'll go to the appearance properties and remove the border on the test like so. Let's change the test to kite animations. So we are going to create this scale animation that I showed before. Let's select the test layer and control click. Let's select insert and go to animations. We are going to use spring animation. Let's move the animation to the begin time. Like so. And here we have to specify the animation property we want to animate. Let's change it from transform rotation and go to transforms. On the transform, we can select scale. If we select scale, we are going to scale both X and Y property of the layer. I'm going to click scale. And now we have to specify the initial value and the final value. Let's change the from value to 1 and change the final value to 2, like so, and leave all the other settings as they are. Now I can go to the timeline to preview the animation. You can see the animation is scaling from the top left. That is the default anchor point in Kite. So let's select the test and move the anchor point to the center. Now if I go to the timeline and preview the animation again, you can see it is scaling from the center with a spring animation. Let's see how we can create this same animation in Swift UI and transfer all the animation properties such as stiffness, damping, mass, and initial velocity from Kite to Swift UI. So let's get started. I'm going to open a project I created in Xcode. Here I have a test Swift UI animations. Let's add a scale effect in order to scale the test from 1 to 2. I'll go to the objects library and search for scale. I'm going to drag the scale modifier to the code and onto the test. Let's change the value from 3 and enter 2. If you remember the animation we created in Kite, we specified the form value and the two value, that is the initial animation value and the final animation value. Let's specify the initial state of the animation by creating a state variable. I'm going to use the add sign and write state and pick from the options. I'm going to write var and write show is equal to false. That is a boolean. So now we need an action to play the animation. We are going to use a tap action. I'm going to select a tap action. And here in the body of the tap action, we are going to enter the code we want to execute. Let's write self dot show dot double. So we are going to use a 
tap action to switch between the two states. I'm going to copy this comment and put on top of the tap action. Like so. Now that we have the tap action to toggle between the two states, where we have the scale value is equal to 1 and the scale value is equal to 2. Our job now is to pass this state variable to the scale effect using an optional chain. To create an optional chain, let's go to the parameters of the scale effect and write show. Next, I'm going to write question mark and put a semicolon after the two. So the two is the final state. So we are going to show it from two to one. So this is all we need to create the animation we created in kind in Swift UI. So let's run the tap action and see what we have done so far. So we can tap to switch between the two states. But as you can see, it jumps without any animation. So let's add an animation to switch between these two states. I'm going to click here and write dot animation. And here we can pass different types of animation. Let's start with basic animation. You can now see there is a smooth transition from the initial state to the final state. Let's go a bit further by changing the basic animation and write spring animation. And with that, we have the spring effect. So our spring animation is using the default spring values. But if I go to guide, we have these values for the animation we created. We can copy the same animation values to Swift UI. Let's change the spring animation type and choose the spring animation with parameters like that. I'm going to copy the mouse value from kite and paste to the code in Swift UI. So we have 0 0.7. I'm going to write 0 0.7 here. And the stiffness value is 200. I'm going to copy stiffness value and paste here and change the damping to 10 and initial velocity to 4 as we saw in the animation in the guide let's run the animation again As you can see, with a minimal code, we've created the same animation we created in Kite in Swift UI. In one of my upcoming videos, I'm going to explain all the parameters for the spring animation, such as mass, damping, stiffness, and initial velocity. So you can check back later if you want to understand each one of them. So with this, I'm going to end here. So this is how you can create your first animation in Swift UI by writing minimal code. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like the video. And thanks for watching.